here's my Raspberry Pi Sense Hat weather project. What it does is it takes an RSS feed off the BBC website and it turns it into scrolling text. It gives a three day weather forecast. It shows today's weather forecast in white text. You can see that scrolling across the screen there. And to help you work out which forecast is which, it will give you the next day's weather forecast. So tomorrow's weather forecast should appear in a minute. And that will be in, I hope, green text scrolling across the screen. Here we go. So there we go. It's Sunday today. So here's Monday's weather forecast, which is coming out in green. And it's telling you that it's, that it's going to be light cloud. And let's have a look. What else? It is going to be, we're going to have a high of 12 degrees C. And we're going to have a low of, wait for it. 11 degrees C, there we go. So it scrolls across, telling us the weather forecast for three days. Uh, it keeps running, but it only polls the weather forecast when you start running the Python script. So I don't want to bombard the BBC site with loads of requests for the weather. Um, possible improvements to the code that might be nice. It's all written in Python. It's all on the website. Um, nice improvements might be to change the color of the text depending on the temperature. That might be nice to have blue text if it's really cold, have red text if it's really hot. That might be nice. Uh, other improvements, we could have symbols maybe appearing instead of words. That might be nice to make it easier to see what the weather is. So maybe a nice cloud or some rain falling, depending on the weather. That might be a nice extension. Also, it might be nice to update the weather forecast maybe every hour or so, or maybe every 30 minutes. So that might be a nice little project to do to tweak the code so it actually does get a new forecast every 30 minutes or so. Anyway, the codes on the website, it's a very, very simple project. You need to install... Um, a couple of uh, a couple of libraries to get it to work, but it's dead simple. Should be able to get that up and running in no time.